Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. This is part two of the series, How to Lower Estrogen and Therefore Increasing Your Testosterone Levels. Uh, make sure you watch the whole video where I combine all the four strategies of Stop Black Destroy Remove. And make sure you watch the one that was before that, which is part one, right? Obviously, stop by, no, stop means stop aromatase. By stopping aromatase, you're going to stop the production of um, estrogen. Number two is, uh, which is what I'm doing now, black estrogen receptors, so that I'm gonna explain that in this video. Number three is uh, destroy estrogen by turning into a different different compounds that are less potent and sometimes useless. And number four is you wanna remove estrogen from your body. What's called? I ain't gonna get to that later. So why do you want a black estrogen? Number one, in case you didn't, in case it's your first video, you didn't watch the other videos, why do you wanna stop estrogen? Why do you wanna lower estrogen if you're a bodybuilder you're trying to get lean shredded or you're just trying to put on muscle mass in general first thing i understand about estrogen is yes it's a hormone it's derived from testosterone in males and other androgens and um it's needed just like any hormone in the body is needed but in excess we have a problem especially when you're trying to build muscle it's gonna make you whole water right you're gonna have a lot of water retention it's gonna give you a more feminized look right you're gonna look all smooth and stuff like that it's gonna if you have too high too high estrogen, you're gonna have low testosterone, right? Because this estrogen increases the production of sex hormone binding globulin, which binds to your estrogen and your testosterone and makes your testosterone inactive. You don't want that. Uh, estrogen is also gonna lower your body's ability to produce more testosterone because of negative feedback, blah, 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 all that stuff, feedback loop. It's gonna go to your brain and tell your brain to stop making hormones. You don't want that. Um, it does a lot of bad things. Obviously, when your testosterone levels are low because of the high estrogen, you're going to have mood issues, depression. A lot of times people are like, oh my God, I lost my drive, I lost my motivation, I don't know what's wrong with me. And 9 out of 10 of these people have really, really high estrogen levels. And you can tell by their belly fat and then just their body composition. So, estrogen is bad for bodybuilders, right? Too much of it is bad. And that's why a lot of bodybuilders who inject themselves with steroids also take estrogen blockers because a lot of the times the testosterone gets converted into estrogen, right? That's why in part one of this series, I'm showing you guys how to stop aromatase, which is the enzyme that turns your testosterone into estrogen. So, um, laying that aside, here's how you block estrogen receptors. Now, why do you want to block estrogen receptors? For you guys out there who don't know what a receptor is, pretty much you have a hormone, right? I'm going to draw it out for you. Uh, let's say you have your hormone, estrogen, it's floating around the blood, blah, blah, blah. This is your muscle cell. Let's say it's your, it's your titty cell, right? Because estrogen gives you bitch tits. Kind of like in my situation, but, but my, my, my skin is a little different. But anyway, so you have your uh, your cell here. Here's your nucleus, your DNA, blah, 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 DNA. Um, your estrogen hormone is going to come in, go through the cell, and it's going to need an estrogen receptor. Just like your testosterone needs an androgen receptor, estrogens need estrogen receptors to answer the DNA, or let's say they're already in the DNA, they need an estrogen receptor to, you know, activate with co-activators, and start doing, you know, synthesis. Start making your bitch tits bigger, making your fat. Whatever estrogen does, it needs a receptor in order to do that, right? So, you, so let's say your receptors are around the surface or inside, doesn't matter, right? Without those receptors, estrogen cannot dock and come inside the DNA and do any of its shit, right? Estrogen can't express itself without a receptor. So what you want to do in step two is you want to block estrogen receptors. Because if you block the receptors with some other shit, right, which I'm going to show in this video... Now, estrogen is left, is left floating around and has very, very little uh, docking space to come in and do its shit. So, number one. Number two part of the video is you want to find ways to... You chill. You want to find ways to block those receptors. And I'm going to show you how you can do this through food. Bodybuilders do it through steroids and drugs. Uh, there's also foods that actually do that. And once again, this comes from a lot of research because of uh, cancer patients, right? Females that have a lot of breast cancer have to find ways to block estrogen receptors so you know to kind of slow down the growth of tumors so these things are proven i'm only going to show, the, show you guys the things that are proven by science to uh, block estrogen receptors uh you have vitamin k right and i'm going to put here in a parenthesis some of the foods that have you know whatever i mentioned on the left side now don't be intimidated by those things guys they have very big scientific names but all you have to do is simply go to google and type uh, top 10 foods high in vitamin K, right? And then pick whatever one you want, whatever one you think is the most powerful. Because you want to make sure your nutrition is foods that you actually like, right? So out of a big, big pool of foods, pick what you think you're going to eat for a long time so your diet will last as long as possible. So vitamin K, you have broccoli or kale, right? Um, I'm going to put these in the, in the description so you can go copy and paste it. You have Gannistein, I can't even pronounce that shit. 
soy has that and the reason why those things work is because they're called phytoestrogens what they do is they're similar to estrogen so that they bind to the estrogen receptor but they're not as powerful estrogen meaning they will bind to your receptors but they won't give you the same effects that estrogen gives you the negative effects that estrogen gives you so you have genistein which is found in soy you have lignans which is found in flax seeds and nuts you have diazine which is found in soy flour or soy protein you have glycetine which is found in soy protein isolate a lot of soy products have that now, I used to be really, really scared of soy, I still am, but you don't have to worry. If your estrogen levels are too high, then you want to consider doing this, right? You're not going to get bigger bitches from eating these foods, because like I said, they're not as powerful as, uh, as estrogen. You have glycetine, you have kumstans, which is found in pinto beans, and you have isoflavones, which is also a phytoestrogen found in chickpeas. Don't worry about the names of pronunciation. I can't pronounce half of that shit. I'm just going to put it in the description, put it in the comment section, and you could just type top 10 foods highest in blank, 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 and make your own grocery list. All right, that's it, guys. Hope this helps. Good luck blocking your estrogen receptors. Now, once again, you can't just pick one of these things and isolate it. You gotta do everything in, in, in you know, in a group as a whole. So make sure you watch all my other videos on this topic. You wanna block your receptors at the same time. You wanna stop aromatase and do the very, you know, everything that comes into the picture, right? So don't just try to eat broccoli and then train like an idiot or sleep like an idiot and you know expect to see gains. Hope this helps, guys. One more time. Right, I'm out. Then uh, this was me at 162. Well, at the end of my last cut, look at me trying to look all sexy, guys. Look at this. No, not looking bad. Not looking bad. This was me when I discovered car back loading. Saved my fucking life. Look at this. I put on size. I was at 175 here. Put on size and maintained my six pack.